Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So in this video, we going to describe the general location, size, and shape of the heart, and perhaps we going to describe a little bit about the pericardial sac that encloses the heart. So as we all know, the cardiovascular system consists of the heart and also the blood vessels. Um, our heart is a muscular pump that keeps the blood flowing through the vessels. Okay. So the vessels deliver the blood to all the entire organs and then returns back to the heart. Okay. So the cardiovascular system has uh, technically two major divisions. Okay. Or in other words, it has uh, two, uh, two parts. A pulmonary circuit which carries the blood to the lungs for gas exchange. And the second part of the cardiovascular system is what we call as a systemic circuit which which supplies blood to every organ to the body including other parts of the lungs and also to the wall of the heart itself right so um, in this um, slide okay so towards the end of the first video of the heart um, we're going to describe the structure of the heart and its positions within the uh, mediastinum or within the thoracic cavity okay and then you should be able to understand the circulation of the blood Okay, you should be able to trace down uh, the blood flow within the heart. You should be able also to name each of the cardiac chambers and also each of the cardiac valves. Number three, to outline to outline the conducting system of the heart. Okay, I think this this uh, the third objective we're going to describe in the next uh, video session. Fourth to relate the electrical activity of the cardiac connecting system to the cardiac cycle. So in this fourth objective, uh, you guys should be able to relate, okay, to relate between the uh, cardiac connecting system uh, to the cardiac cycle or kitaran jantung. And fourth, uh, and lastly, we're going to look at the main factors that are uh, easily going to determine the heart rate and also the cardiac output. Okay, so meaning that uh, in the end, towards the end of this lecture, we're going to uh, look at the cardiac measurements, right? So, um, the right uh, explanation about the heart, okay, the heart lies within a thick partition, we, we call it as the mediastinum. So, uh, the heart actually lies within the thoracic cavity in the mediastinum within the lungs, okay? So, this is the positions, okay, as you can see in this picture, and uh, for most of us, um, the apex of the heart is about 9 cm to the left. Okay, So the heart extends from a broad base as uh, its uppermost end. Okay, So as we can see here, it has a blunt apex, pointed apex, a blunt pointed apex at the lower end. Right. So normally, the adult heart, the adult uh, heart is about 9 cm wide at the base. Okay, and uh, 13 centimeter or nearly 5 inches uh, from the base to the apex, right? Okay, so from the base to the apex, nearly uh, 13 centimeter. At any age, it is roughly the size of the same uh, person's fist. Okay, so if you combine two of your fists, both fists are, it should be resemble the size of your own fist. Okay, so uh, usually uh, a fully grown adult heart. Uh, normally weigh about 300 gram okay or merely 10 ounces in adults right okay so uh, this is the detail diagram showing the position of the heart uh, located within the actually within the mediastinum of the thoracic cavity so this whole cavity is called as a thoracic cavity okay i think you, you should be able to uh, label each of this uh, uh, description okay Right, so now we're going to proceed to the to the heart uh, structure. Okay, so as you can see from this video, okay, from this slide, okay, the heart structure consists of three basic layers. Okay, so the pericardium, the myocardium, and also the endocardium. Okay, so the heart is is normally enclosed with a double wall sac known as the pericardium. Right, so this is the double sac, double uh, wall sac known as pericardium the outer wall is called the pericardial sac or the pericardial parietal pericardium okay it has a tough superficial fibrous layer so the parietal pericardium 
the outer layer of the pericardium layer normally composed of uh, fibrous layer of dense irregular connective tissue right whereby for the visceral pericardium okay visceral pericardium which is normally equivalent to the epicardium okay uh, norm, uh, normally uh, consists of uh, a very thin deep serous layer of a tissue okay right so in between parietal and visceral pericardium uh, it has a very small gap and this gap is normally filled with a specialized fluid okay known as the pericardial fluid which normally going to smooth allow a smooth movement uh, when the heart beats okay so it means that this pericardial fluid okay produced by these two layers of the pericardial sac double wall sac it normally going to uh, reduce the friction between between within this uh, within these tissues okay the heart and also towards to the to the surrounding uh, area of mediastinum okay right so as you can see this is the very small area normally this area of the pericardial space normally going to be filled up with a special kind of fluid known as pericardial fluid okay which act as a lubricant to smooth the uh, to give a very smooth movement uh, when the heart beats okay right okay uh, the pericardial cavity normally contains uh, nearly 5 to 30 millimeter milli ml of pericardial fluid so it won't exceed uh, more than 30 ml okay so usually okay secara dalam ni biasanya in between 5 to 30 ml of pericardial fluid okay exuded by the serous layer of the pericardial sac okay so again i would like to repeat the importance of this pericardial fluid is actually to lubricate eh? to lubricate the membranes and allows the heart to beat with a very minimal friction so uh, you can see in the cases of uh, pericarditis okay penyakit uh, pericarditis uh, it means uh, inflammation of the pericardium uh, the, this entire both of these membranes uh, become uh, become very tough rough and produce a painful friction uh, kind of rub with uh, each heartbeat okay so every time the heart beats in this pericarditis patient it's going to produce a localized very painful uh, okay to the patient okay All right okay moving forward to the second and the most thickest layer of the heart okay which is the myocardium the myocardium normally uh, composed of a very special kind of cardiac muscle Okay, found only in the cardiac and each uh, myocardium fiber cell has a very huge nucleus and each cells are very close contact through a, through a series of intercalated discs okay so this structure we're going to describe later on in the next video okay so this uh, the presence of intercalated discs give a very special unique characteristic uh, uh, to the cardiac cells which normally when the cardiac cells contract it's going to contract like a sheet one sheet of muscles okay or uh, should i say uh we call it as a um, uh, uh, functional syncytia okay right so in the medical world we call it as functional syncytia okay work like a sheet like a sheet of muscle okay maknanya dia akan contract huh? uh, the whole muscles lah okay at the same time okay also to spread the impulses from one cell to another through the branches okay so that's why we need uh, an intercalated like this right okay so okay so this is the arrangement of the circular and also the spiral arrangement of cardiac muscle bundles okay so when the heart when the atrial muscles contract okay and when the impulses spread from the atrial towards to the ventricle chambers this entire muscle is going to contract like one sheet of muscle uh ini yang saya sebut tadi tu like a functional syncytia you guys can browse and google search for functional syncytia okay s y n c y t i a right okay next right and finally the endocardium okay uh, a similar layer lies in the interior of the heart chambers like the epicardium uh, normally this layer is uh, composed of a simple squamous epithelium overlying a uh, thin areolar tissue layer okay uh, however in this endocardium i forgot to mention in this slide it has no adipose tissue okay so you should be able to jot down somewhere right i should put it over here in this endocardium it's supposed not to have any adipose tissue okay it has no adipose tissue right okay the endocardium covers the valve surfaces 
and it's continuous uh, with the endothelium of the blood vessels okay right to put, to allow a very uh, smooth flow of the blood inside the heart okay right so uh, now we proceed to the interior of the heart so uh, i think most of you already know uh, the interior of the heart consists of four chambers okay and also four cardiac valve so the heart has uh, four chambers okay uh, uh, the two superior chambers are the right and the left atrium, okay, and the other two inferior chambers of the right and left ventricles. So we have two atrium and two ventricles, okay, right, okay. So uh, the heart also has a framework of collagenous and elastic fibers, okay, right. So this is something that I did not put in my slide, so you should be able to pick it up through this uh, audio video content. So the heart has a framework of collagenous and elastic fibers that makes up the uh, the fibrous skeleton. I repeat, the heart has a fibrous skeleton. Okay, so this tissue especially concentrated in the walls between the heart chambers. Okay, between the atrium and ventricles, and also between uh, both ventricles. Okay, and uh, the fibrous skeleton has a uh, huge multiple functions. Number one, provides structural support. Okay especially around, around the valves and also the opening of the great vessels it anchors the cardiocytes and give them something to pull against and thirdly uh, the fibrous skeleton also act as a non-conductor of, uh, of electricity which serve as electrical insulation between atrial and ventricles okay so that atrial cannot stimulate the ventricles directly okay so when the when the cardiac stimulations from the atrial chambers cannot simply directly stimulate the ventricles so it has to pass in, pass through the atrioventricular node okay right so with that i'm going to leave you guys with a question okay so what is fibrous skeleton and what are the functions of this tissue to the heart okay thank you and i meet you guys in the next video